Learn English from the Bible. Genesis 25 Abraham's family Abraham married again. His new wife was Keturah. She gave birth to Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan was the father of Sheba and Dedan. Dedan's descendants were the people of Assyria, Ledish, and Luem. The sons of Midian were Ephah, Ephor, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. All these were descendants of Keturah. Abraham left everything he owned to Isaac. But before Abraham died, he did give gifts to the sons of his other wives. Abraham sent them to the east to be away from Isaac. Abraham lived to be 175 years old. He breathed his last breath and died at an old age. He had lived a long and satisfying life. His sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah. This cave is in the field of Ephron east of Mamre. Ephron was the son of Zohar the Hittite. This is the same field that Abraham had bought from the Hittites. Abraham was buried there with his wife Sarah. After Abraham died, God blessed his son Isaac. Isaac was now living at Beer Lahai Roy. This is the family history of Ishmael, Abraham's son. Hagar, Sarah's Egyptian servant, was Ishmael's mother. These are the names of Ishmael's sons in the order they were born. The first son was Nebaioth. Then came Kedar, Adbeel, Mibsam. Mishma, Duma, Masa. Hadad, Tima, Jetur, Nafish, and Kadima. These were Ishmael's sons. And these are the names of the tribal leaders. They are listed according to their settlements and camps. Ishmael lived 137 years. Then he breathed his last breath and died. Ishmael's descendants lived from Havilah to Shur. This is east of Egypt stretching toward Assyria. Ishmael's descendants often attacked the descendants of his brothers. Isaac's family This is the family history of Isaac. Abraham had a son named Isaac. When Isaac was 40 years old, he married Rebekah. Rebekah was from northwest Mesopotamia. She was Bethuel's daughter and the sister of Laban the Aramean. Isaac's wife could not have children. So Isaac prayed to the Lord for her. The Lord heard Isaac's prayer, and Rebekah became pregnant. While she was pregnant, the baby struggled inside her. She asked, Why is this happening to me? Then she went to get an answer from the Lord. 
The Lord said to her, Two nations are in your body. Two groups of people will be taken from you. One group will be stronger than the other. The older will serve the younger. And when the time came, Rebekah gave birth to twins. The first baby was born red. His skin was like a hairy robe. So he was named Esau. When the second baby was born, he was holding on to Esau's heel. So that baby was named Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when they were born. When the boys grew up, Esau became a skilled hunter. He loved to be out in the fields. But Jacob was a quiet man. He stayed among the tents. Isaac loved Esau. Esau hunted the wild animals that Isaac enjoyed eating. But Rebekah loved Jacob. One day Jacob was boiling a pot of vegetable soup. Esau came in from hunting in the fields. He was weak from hunger. So Esau said to Jacob, let me eat some of that red soup. I am weak with hunger. That is why people call and eat him. But Jacob said, You must sell me your rights as the firstborn son. Esau said, I am almost dead from hunger. If I die, all of my father's wealth will not help me. But Jacob said, First, promise me that you will give it to me. So Esau made a promise to Jacob. In this way he sold his part of their father's wealth to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and vegetable soup. Esau ate and drank and then left. So Esau showed how little he cared about his rights as the firstborn son. Genesis 26 Isaac lies to Abimelech. Once there was a time of hunger in the land. This was besides the time of hunger that happened during Abraham's life. So Isaac went to the town of Gerar. He went to see Abimelech king of the Philistines. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Don't go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I tell you to live. Three stay in this land, and I will be with you. I will bless you. I will give you and your descendants all these lands. I will keep the agreement I made to Abraham your father. I will give you many descendants. They will be as hard to count as the stars in the sky. And I will give them all these lands. Through your descendants all the nations on the earth will be blessed. I will do this because your father Abraham obeyed me. He did what I said. He obeyed my commands, my teachings, and my rules. So Isaac stayed in Gerar. Isaac's wife Rebekah was very beautiful. The men of that place asked Isaac about her. Isaac said, She is my sister. He was afraid to tell them she was his wife.
He thought they might kill him so they could have her. Isaac lived there a long time. One day as Abimelech king of the Philistines looked out his window, he saw Isaac. Isaac was holding his wife Rebekah tenderly. Abimelech called for Isaac and said, This woman is your wife. Why did you say she was your sister? Isaac said to him, I was afraid you would kill me so you could have her. Abimelech said, What have you done to us? One of our men might have had physical relations with your wife. Then we would have been guilty of a great sin. So Abimelech warned everyone. He said, Anyone who touches this man or his wife will be put to death. Isaac becomes rich. Isaac planted seed in that land. And that year he gathered a great harvest. The Lord blessed him very much. Isaac became rich. He gathered more wealth until he became a very rich man. He had many slaves and many flocks and herds. The Philistines envied him. So they stopped up all the wells the servants of Isaac's father Abraham had dug. They had dug them when Abraham was alive. The Philistines filled those wells with dirt. And Abimelech said to Isaac, Leave our country. You have become much more powerful than we are. So Isaac left that place. He camped in the valley of Gerar and lived there. Long before this time Abraham had dug many wells. After Abraham died, the Philistines filled them with dirt. So Isaac dug those wells again. He gave them the same names his father had given them. Isaac's servants dug a well in the valley. From it a spring of water flowed. But the men who herded sheep in Gerar argued with Isaac's servants. They said, This water is ours. So Isaac named that well argue because they argued with him. Then Isaac's servants dug another well. The people also argued about it. So Isaac named that well fight. Isaac moved from there and dug another well. No one argued about this one. So he named that well room enough. Isaac said, Now the Lord has made room for us. We will be successful in this land. From there Isaac went to Beersheba. The Lord appeared to Isaac that night. The Lord said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Don't be afraid because I am with you. I will bless you and give you many descendants. I will do this because of my servant Abraham. So Isaac built an altar and worshipped the Lord there. He made a camp there, and his servants dug a well. Abimelech came from Gerar to see Isaac. Abimelech brought with him Ahazeth, who advised him, and Phicol the commander of his army. 
Isaac asked them, Why have you come to see me? You were my enemy. You forced me to leave your country. They answered, Now we know that the Lord is with you. We will make a promise to you. And we would like you to make one to us. We would like to make an agreement with you. We did not hurt you. So promise you will not hurt us. And we were good to you, and we sent you away in peace. Now the Lord has blessed you. So Isaac prepared food for them, and they all ate and drank. Early the next morning the men made a promise to each other. Then Isaac sent them away, and they left in peace. That day Isaac's servants came and told him about the well they had dug. They said, We found water in that well. So Isaac named it Sheba, and that city is still called Beersheba even now. When Esau was forty years old, he married two Hittite women. One was Judith daughter of Beri. The other was Basemath daughter of Elon. These women brought much sorrow to Isaac and Rebekah. Genesis 27 Jacob tricks Isaac. When Isaac was old, his eyes were not good. He could not see clearly. One day he called his older son Esau to him. Isaac said, Son. Esau answered, Here I am. Isaac said, I am old. I don't know when I might die. So take your bow and arrows and go hunting in the field. Kill an animal for me to eat. Prepare the tasty food that I love. Bring it to me, and I will eat. Then I will bless you before I die. So Esau went out in the field to hunt. Rebekah was listening as Isaac said this to his son Esau. Rebekah said to her son Jacob, Listen. I heard your father talking to your brother Esau. Seven your father said, Kill an animal. Prepare some tasty food for me to eat. Then I will bless you before the Lord before I die. So obey me, my son. Do what I tell you. Go out to our goats and bring me two young ones. I will prepare them just the way your father likes them. Then you will take the food to your father. And he will bless you before he dies. But Jacob said to his mother Rebekah, My brother Esau is a hairy man. I am smooth. If my father touches me, he will know I am not Esau. Then he will not bless me. He will place a curse on me because I tried to trick him. So Rebekah said to him, If your father puts a curse on you, I will accept the blame. Just do what I said. Go and get the goats for me. 
So Jacob went out and got two goats and brought them to his mother. Then she cooked them in the special way Isaac enjoyed. She took the best clothes of her older son Esau that were in the house. She put them on the younger son Jacob. She took the skins of the goats. And she put them on Jacob's hands and neck. Then she gave Jacob the tasty food and the bread she had made. Jacob went in to his father and said, Father. And his father said, Yes, my son. Who are you? Jacob said to him, I am Esau, your first son. I have done what you told me. Now sit up and eat some meat of the animal I hunted for you. Then bless me. But Isaac asked his son, How did you find and kill the animal so quickly? Jacob answered, Because the Lord your God led me to find it. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near so I can touch you, my son. If I can touch you, I will know if you are really my son Esau. So Jacob came near to Isaac his father. Isaac touched him and said, Your voice sounds like Jacob's voice. But your hands are hairy like the hands of Esau. Isaac did not know it was Jacob, because his hands were hairy like Esau's hands. So Isaac blessed Jacob. Isaac asked, Are you really my son Esau? Jacob answered, Yes, I am. Then Isaac said, Bring me the food. I will eat it and bless you. So Jacob gave him the food, and Isaac ate. Jacob gave him wine, and he drank. Then Isaac said to him, My son, come near and kiss me. So Jacob went to his father and kissed him. Isaac smelled Esau's clothes and blessed him. Isaac said, The smell of my son is like the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you plenty of rain and good soil. Then you will have plenty of grain and wine. May nations serve you. May peoples bow down to you. May you be master over your brothers. May your mother's sons bow down to you. May everyone who curses you be cursed. And may everyone who blesses you be blessed. Isaac finished blessing Jacob. Then, just as Jacob left his father Isaac, Esau came in from hunting. Esau also prepared some tasty food and brought it to his father. He said, Father, rise and eat the food that your son killed for you. Then bless me. Isaac asked, Who are you? He answered, I am your son, your firstborn son Esau. Then Isaac trembled greatly. He said, Then who was it that hunted the animals and brought me food before you came? I ate it, and I blessed him. And it is too late now to take back my blessing. When Esau heard the words of his father, 
he let out a loud and bitter cry. He said to his father, Bless me, me too, my father. But Isaac said, Your brother came and tricked me. He has taken your blessing. Esau said, Jacob is the right name for him. He has tricked me these two times. He took away my share of everything you own. And now he has taken away my blessing. Then Esau asked, Haven't you saved a blessing for me? Isaac answered, I gave Jacob the power to be master over you. And all his brothers will be his servants. And I kept him strong with grain and wine. There is nothing left to give you, my son. But Esau continued, Do you have only one blessing, father? Bless me too, father. Then Esau began to cry out loud. Isaac said to him, You will live far away from the best land, far from the rain. You will live by using your sword and be a slave to your brother. But when you struggle, you will break free from him. After that Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing from Isaac. Esau thought to himself, My father will soon die, and I will be sad for him. After that I will kill Jacob. Rebekah heard about Esau's plan to kill Jacob. So she sent for Jacob. She said to him, Listen, your brother Esau is comforting himself by planning to kill you. So, son, do what I say. My brother Laban is living in Haran. Go to him at once. Stay with him for a while, until your brother is not so angry. In time, your brother will not be angry. He will forget what you did to him. Then I will send a servant to bring you back. I don't want to lose both of my sons on the same day. Then Rebekah said to Isaac, I am tired of Hittite women. If Jacob marries one of these Hittite women here in this land, I want to die.